And do you play on console or do you play on PC? I'm going to pick at your brain for a little bit while we get matched up to this uh, station here. Four hours. Haven't played for about a year, so you've forgotten most of it. You play on PC. Okay, okay. You were getting into orbit when you played before. All right, so a lot of things have changed in Kerbal Space Program in a year. They've added a whole lot more things that we're not going to get into. I'm just going to I'm just gonna go through the basics with you once I get docked here, and then we'll be good to go. You got like a half an hour, right, to spare? You got some time to hang out? That's all I ask of you is some, t is some time. And if you got time, then we can do it. Indeed? Okay, sweet. So get yourself comfy. Uh, we got some people in here. Some of them bite, some of them don't bite. If you want to say hey to some folks. Or you could drop a prime sub there if you want. Devil's Mouth, enjoy your ad free viewing, your sandy emotes, and your sword. And welcome into the armament, my friend. That works too. My, my favorite emote of mine is the hug emote. Just because it's animated and it's awesome. But you didn't get that information from me. You have sword, no bites. <laughs> Carlo bites? Oh, okay. Carlo is apparently the biter here. I bet I bet Supercat would bite if you asked her nice enough. She'll say on the surface that she won't, but I'm sure she would if you asked her. I will, but it costs you extra. You'll bite me? Yeah, Krillin just bites people by, by default. Hi, Krillin. Welcome in, buddy. How are you? You bite? Sistefe's bites. Krillin, congrats on beating Dark Souls <clears throat> and, and ending stream early. You're so happy. Krillin beat Dark Souls, you guys. He did something I haven't done yet. Also, I expected the DLC to be a bit longer. Nah, it just it just adds like a boss rush. One does not simply beat Dark Souls. Oh yeah, he beat it. He said he's gonna start speedrunning it too. I'm excited for that, guys. Be sure you tune in for that when he starts speedrunning it. Kerbal Two seems delayed. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a under that's an understatement, Devil's Mouth. I think I, I honestly <laughs> yes, it's it's a bit delayed. We have a command here in chat for KSP2 for people that have questions about it. I encourage them to ask me in a year. It was it was supposed to release April of 2020. At Devil's Mouth, it's a whole slew of things, my friends. But you're gonna have if you if you talk about it enough, you get people who come out of the woodwork who's like armchair experts about the gaming dev world and they'll tell you all about what they know and what they think and everything else. But it's just we don't know. We'll never not know. You added an R color. But what we do know is that it's just a mess. <laughs> color? Color's feeling feisty today, guys. I wasn't back from work yet. Not to lie, Krillin. You won't. You won't. You're so happy you're done with that damn game. Delayed game is eventually good, but a rush game is forever bad. No, because No Man's Sky wasn't bad. Or it is not bad now. It was a, it was a rushed game. So I guess there's exceptions to the rule. We're coming at this way too hard. 
Oh well. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Cross our fingers. Devil's mouth. I mean, sure. I, I my opinion about the whole thing is I think it's just vaporware. I don't think we're ever gonna see a, a finished, a finished result of it. All right, let's grab our little Kerbal here. Uh, we'll EVA him. We're gonna grab this docking port, and. Well, yeah, Sparkles, of course. I, I get that. I totally, totally get that. So I kind of want to put it there, but I can't put it there. Um, Where's this docking port going? I guess we just put it in the in the chest. Oh, I do need to, I do need to strut. Let's, let's make, let's make these struts real quick. Let's put these struts on here. So I do want to strut that. I do want to strut here. I do want to strut there. And we're going to do this. Oh, uh, hello? There we go. All right, so that puts those pieces together. Then we'll get these pieces put together. And these pieces can be put together. Oops, nope, don't do that. All right, so that's on. <clears throat> now I need to put them up nowhere else, right? On this side, on this side. Oops. No, don't hit the solar panel. There we go. Perfect. We're strut. All right. That works for me. So we're going to let go. We're going to jump on this ship over here. Or wait. Ah! There are these solar panels here that we got to take care of. Do I have room to put them? Construction part only. Oh. I think I want to mount them to the ends of these. So let's do that. Let's make an effort to do that. All right. I'm going to let go. Uh, we're going to go down. I still got to repair those, too. Oh, bonk. All right. EVA construction. We'll move this up to here. Then we'll take this and put it right. Right there, but I want to move it. Uh, let's turn it. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. So now we got a solar panel there. <clears throat> Let me repair these two. Uh, let me right click my little Kerbal here. 
right click on this and I'll put backpack in there for repair kits. Oops. Okay. So then I can come down. I hear solar panels and I imagine Sandy enjoying the sun. <laughs> I tried to get her to wear, like, cute stuff like that, like shades or something, or a hat. She hates it. She, she wore it for, she'll wear it for, like, two seconds, and then she rips it off. All right, so these are fixed. <coughs> um, let's get this solar panel over here put on. We don't need that anymore. We can go take this off, put it down there. Take this off, put it. There. And then I got to move it. Don't click something else. All right, so that's done, albeit kind of sloppy. Can I extend it? There we go. All right, solar arrays put up. What's up, Trigger Man? Welcome in. Do I play Civilization? No, I'm not. I'm not big into like 4X games. I'll play them like offline. I don't like playing them online because I feel like they're very boring to watch or to stream. I do play a lot of RimWorld though, if you know anything about RimWorld. I've been starting to kind of get myself immersed in that community and, and try to grow there. It certainly has its challenges. All right, we'll do that. All right, let's get in. Let's get out of here. The station is complete. Let's not break anything on our way out. Make sure we're driving and controlling from here. Civ games just sound like the games that would attract the most backseating when streaming. Well, it's not so much that, but it's just... Uh, it, mo most management games have that kind of thing. But, I mean, I'm not really worried about that at the end of the day because there, there's only a couple of ways to win games like that. But it's just... It, it's kind of like D&D &D on, on Twitch. Unless you're, like, hardcore into D&D, &D, it's boring to watch you're just like yeah yeah damage roll okay uh-huh yeah it, it's not something it's not something that's good for content it has a very specific target audience Which is not necessarily the audience I'm looking for. Alright, let's bring this little guy home. We might try to land this thing. What's our TWR? 1.09? And we might try to land this thing down. Why not, right? We. We're gonna lose TWR as we, as we go, but I can burn. Get some of our mass down. And then, I haven't forgotten about you yet, Devil's Mouth. We'll take care of you here in just a minute.
That's awesome, Xanath. Have you seen my rover in Sky Crane? I just haven't added the winch to it. I don't think I need the winch. But more power to you, buddy. Good luck with it. Most of my rovers are being delivered by, by Sky Crane. Well, I've got ion ones. I've got liquid fuel oxidizer ones. You did it for the memes. Gotcha. I did it because I needed to. <laughs> I'm going to do this to kind of burn some of the um, speed off. We got plenty of fuel. We're going to naturally slow down to about 200 meters a second or so. And I got the chutes as an emergency just in case. Have I told you already that I absolutely love your uh, boop emote? The boop emote is nice. I, I'm i still a big fan of the hug one. But boop is, boop is a very close second. I'm glad I got them redone. I had an artist make them initially and they weren't very good. And I had to get them made again. But yeah, Boop is Boop is really, really good. I told the artist, I said, make sure there's a pause once it's pushed all the way in for added effect and then have it pop back out again. They're like, are you sure? I was like, yes, I want it to loop, but I want that pause there because that pause is important. And I feel like that little pause gives it the, gives it the, that you need for it. That's the reason why people like it so much. I was like, it has to have the pause. The thing about the hug emote that I want more than ever is, is the other appendages of the, of the, um, hedgehog to also wiggle. They only did the one arm. I kind of want the other arm and both feet to wiggle too. As it's struggling. Otherwise, it'd be more of a poke. Well, I mean, it, it would be really fast, too, because it'd be in and out, in and out, in and out. The pause makes it... Gives it some staying power. All right, we're going to have to use the shoots, I think. I don't think we're slowing down. We're at a .73 TWR. The, the soup is succumbing us. I don't, I don't think we can save them. Let's we'll see what happens when the big shoot comes out. If we're not going very slow, then I have to stage. You didn't notice the flailing arm before? Yeah, the flailing arm is, is the highlight on that one. He's struggling to get out. He's like, no, help me, help me. The eyes bulge and the little arm flails. It used to be that part of her ear was on the other side and it, was, it looked weird. I actually, went, <coughs> I actually went into the document myself and changed that into the GIF. I went frame, frame per frame and took her ear out. I could probably make the arms wiggle too, but it's just a lot of work. Cybex, I thought you were headed towards like a, a sex joke there for a minute. Which I guess you could still mis misconstrue that for sure. <laughs> TJ, especially you, TJ. All right, so we got that done. Devil's Mouth. Check it out, bud. I'm going to teach you a couple of things that are really, really important. I'm going to build a, sta a rocket stage. Just as a clarification to anyone watching right now, this is a tutorial and is not part of the 50-ton challenge. With that being said, Devil's Mouth, are you here? <clears throat> I'll show you I'll show you what I do when I build a rocket in Kerbal and then hopefully it gives you some advice. You're not devil, but I would like to see it, but you're gonna see it anyways. I'm gonna give him about 30 seconds or so to say something. If he doesn't say anything, we're gonna move on. Exactly, misery. Devil's mouth. All right, let's go put our our our, our craft into orbit. I want to put my big craft, my my space station, into orbit. I want to put it at five hundred k by five hundred k. How 
Hi, Salty Kraken. How are you, buddy? Welcome in. <clears throat> I also want to change the name of it and make it into a station, because right now it's just a ship. Do some do some housekeeping. That, lo that looks pretty nice, though, doesn't it? I'm kind of impressed. I like it. I did a good job. I did a good job. Lots of batteries. It's straight. It does look smexy. And I built it all in space. Okay. Uh, we'll control from here. We'll rename the vessel. This is going to be the Kerbin, K, K, Kerbin Orbital Space Station Bravo. Because the Alpha was out here once upon a time, but I took it down. <clears throat> And I want the naming priority to be a little higher. This is the name of the ship. The reason why the naming priority is important, anything that docks to it will give it its name. But if I make it the main name, then it stays that way. It also moves a lot quicker than, the, than our space station. And it also burns. Alright, we're going to go to a 500 by 500 as, as close to perfect as possible. Now, we do wobble a bit. That kind of sucks. But we have struts. We're completely strut in, which I think is beautiful. The whole thing's pretty sound. That wobbling means that there's slight imbalances, and it could be because this is rotated a certain way. It could be because the way the these are turned or something. Anything. When I put these on, maybe they're not perfectly centered. That's a random docking port we have to do something with. I don't have an engineer on board anymore. Seven, eight, nine. Let's try and get it as close to 500,000 as possible. All right, let's go to the other end. <laughs> Dead on. All right, let's go out here and make this one also 500,000. Now, for some reason, it's not showing delta V calculations, which is weird. See, now we're starting to trickle up past 500,000. I don't want to do that. Uh, we have to go over here and, like, minute scale this. And move ourselves. I want, I want to keep ourselves at 500k. And then continue. You never knew that was an emote? It's a better Twitch TV emote. It's easy. Okay, so, um, oops. Hold on. Man, that's so super close. We'll we'll work on the we'll, on the specifics on that. We'll work on the specifics on that. <laughs> this thing this thing torques, man. <laughs> Good thing the pieces don't rip off.
Yeah, easy is a really good one to use for the chat fight. What is the 50 ton challenge? Nothing can leave the VAB or the space plane hangar more than 50 tons. <clears throat> oh, there you are, Devil's Mouth. What's up, buddy? I was looking for you earlier. <laughs> What's up, buddy? In your lifetime, do I think what? Oh no. Not worried about my kids getting married, but I do want to see it. Manned mission to Mars? I'm pretty sure, yeah. As long as. As long as the passion and the aggression is there to get to space. Because right now there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of aggression. Uh, as long as we've got that, we'll be there in 20 years. It's when people start giving up. If you, if you start to see a bunch of companies fold and a bunch of companies disappearing and giving up, then you're going to see that it's going to be less and less likely. But the more that companies step up, the more people get inspired, the more competition that gets. Because, because competition is what got us on the moon. We wouldn't have gotten on the moon otherwise. It was when it was when Russia was like, "Hey, we're gonna get there first. and we're like, "Ah, ah, ah, we gotta go." So, as long as there is a passion and an aggression, I'm pretty sure we'll get there soon. Soon being twenty ish years or so. The Earth is flat, maybe. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're we're not quite five hundred thousand. Um, I'll I'll fine tune it later. Devil's mouth, you're here. I wanna I wanna show you the whole um, getting to the getting to the mun thing. This is our space station, by the way. We're gonna put it at a perfect five hundred by five hundred orbit, but for right now, it's out there. Kerbal orbital space Kerbin orbital space station Bravo. All right. So, Devil's Mouth, do I do I have you? Devil's Mouth, that's a hell of a dream, dude. Good luck with that. You ever seen Rick and Morty? <laughs> Sounds like that planet where the women rule and the men are off somewhere else having sex with bots. Okay, uh, VAB. Go. 